Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms The Furious Wild DLC with our first Let's Play as Shi Xie, the Governor Shi, the first Vietnamese, as he is known, a deified warlord. He was deified in the 6th century in Vietnam. Um, he was that important to the culture and the region at that time. Uh, incredibly interesting character. I love the fact that he is now unique, that he's a playable faction of some merit as well. And I really, really quite enjoy his specific faction mechanics too, because although <clears throat> things like this, this Splendor and Tribute chess, the, uh, it is unique to him, but the fact that it builds around his family is actually quite uh, thematic for the time period, because the Warlords really, in this time of chaos, could only trust their family members. So of course, Shushier gets all of these bonuses to Splendor by employing family members into positions of power within his faction. And this can then be built up and built up and built up for bonuses, but also it can be used to buy tribute chests. And these tribute chests can then be given to your faction members to give them certain bonuses, or can be used as part of diplomatic deals as well. <clears throat> Now, why is Tribute Chess a thing for Shishia? It's because he maintained, even though he was way down, let's just have a look at him on the map here. He was way down here in the southeast of China, far, far, far away from the Han Court up here and then later over here. Um, he maintained the sending of tributes, which is something that many of the warlords didn't do. And as the country descended into chaos, you had the Yellow Turban Rebellion, you had the Liang, uh, province revolt over here he still sent tribute chests to the emperor maintaining strong relations with the hand court whoever was in charge whether it was during the time of the eunuchs whether it was during the time of dong Zhuo, whether it was during the time of Cao Cao it didn't matter he maintained this strong relationship until Cao Pi forced the emperor to abdicate then he allied with Wu <clears throat> and became a Independent, still, he maintained his realm independent, but he became a serious player for Wu in maintaining order and developing the South uh, West. However, his idea about wanting to build up this dynasty failed because after his death, uh, Sun Quan wanted to move Shi Xie's remaining family out of the Zhaozhi region and to set up elsewhere because you didn't want uh, someone who's from that area uh, because, of course, Shi Xie's family had moved to Zhaozhi completely. They were refugees from the north. They had moved down south. That was their hometown. They had too many allegiances with the local people. It was a potential threat of rebellion for Sun Quan. So he wanted to peacefully move them elsewhere um, while still giving them titles. But one of Shi Xie's sons would rebel, and that would lead to the extermination of many members of the Shi family and the loss of status for those surviving. They were made commoners. <clears throat> However, his unique features, he has these tribute chests, as we've discussed, and we'll be seeing a lot of those throughout the play. He has the bonds of family, so you can marry or adopt characters for a far reduced cost, which is wonderful. And of course, he is a governor, so he cannot declare himself as emperor by capturing an emperor's seat. As far as his character goes, uh, Shishia is a strategist, but he has uh, a lot of commander and sentinel type bonuses. Makes him quite a balanced character. He's modest, he's charitable, he's scholarly, all of which give him bonuses to his cunning, his uh, authority, his resolve, and uh, his expertise. Um, he has minus 10% recruitment cost for range units, he has plus one available trade agreement, and of course Shishia has wisely and insidiously kindled the favour of the Han. He is cunning of mind and a barrier against threats from distant lands. His rise was won through the strength of his family's deep and noble lineage, and not insignificant personal favours to the powerful. Shishia benevolently welcomes the needy and the destitute to his lands, all the while planting his own family members into positions of power, for as surely as Shishia gives generously, he always takes advantageously. <clears throat> So, Shishia is bordering the Nanman lands. You have uh, Duo Se, you have uh, Dong Tuna, uh, I think you have Mulu, of course. I forget who these guys are. There's the Jaoja tribes knocking about as, uh, as well. That might be them here. Um, so, you are surrounded by Nanman to your north after you uh, defeat Ying Shao, who is just further north of you, um, <clears throat> and to your west. 
Now, you actually have a relatively good relationship with some of the Naman tribes, though some of them, like Dong Chunai, are less friendly towards you. Um, and you have this interesting option as a governor when you take them out just to automatically vassalize them as well. So you can, as Shishier, once you've pacified your immediate surroundings, you can really go to town and make the Nanman your own personal fiefdom as well, which is quite fun. But we are going to uh, be playing on this setting here. Um, <clears throat> Campaign difficulty on very hard, battle level, legendary, battle realism mode is on, no time limit. I'm showing this off because there is this new timeless characters set up here for the new DLC. Now timeless characters means that your characters do not die by old age. I don't like this. Um, I understand why some people want it. Uh, they want their characters to live forever, etc, etc. For me, I kind of don't mind the fact they die, especially now that CA started to add more and more late game unique characters like Wei Yan, etc. into the game. So I don't mind that the characters die. I think that's part of the game and something that adds challenge to the game and something you need to deal with. Especially for Shi Xie because he is 53 when this starts. Actually when he uh, was first made the administrator of Zhao Zhe, which is these two areas here, <clears throat> plus these two areas here under Mulu, um, when he was uh, made the administrator of Jaja, he was 50 years old, so he came to this late in life um, and he would live into his 90s. So, quite an impressively old figure, as well as an impressive man himself. Anyway, enough of the history lesson, let us get into the game. <laughs> Yan 主公您被任命为交趾郡太守必须击溃他们的野心主公您是陛下钦点之人。So here we are, the ruler of the Southern Lands. You've been appointed as the ruler of Zhao Zhe Commandery. While this is certainly an honor, this territory is also far from the Han government and far from the inspectors and far from your culture. Many would consider this nomination a veiled insult, but truly, there is boundless opportunity. You can use this land and its remoteness to create your own empire within an empire and secure a future for the Shu family for generations to come. So, uh, Shu Xie actually uh, asked for this position because no one else wanted it. Um, normally, family members would not be allowed to be uh, in positions of this power um, within their own home territories, but he was allowed to be because no one else wanted it. <clears throat> so that's why he was here. He did not see it as a, home, as a veiled insult. He wanted it. And he did plan to create his own empire within an empire. 
uh, within reason uh, and set it up for the Shu family, but of course it would fall apart after his death quite quickly. So, we can appoint family members to position of power to generate Splendor. Splendor is this toy up here. When we get 65, we can start to buy tribute chests. Um, and these tribute chests can be, uh, they're extraordinarily powerful actually. We'll have a look at some very, very quickly because one of our first missions is to uh, create a tribute chest. <clears throat> and um, yeah, they can be used for diplomacy too. And they're worth a lot. Family in high places. So our first mission is to assign Shi Yi, our younger brother, to an administrator post. Um, first of all, however, we're going to have a look at this. We've got a black stallion, a grey stallion, and a merchant. That's not bad for starting ancillaries. So, we have our family members here. Shu <coughs> Excuse me, of course. We're going to give the black stallion to Shu He is quite fighty for a, uh, strategist. He's got a bow. Um, this will be very useful for you as well. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have fire arrows or flaming shot <coughs> yet. But he does have Nature's Ally, which is a commander buff. Um, so he does uh, ignore forest penalties, improves the speed and morale, which is quite nice. Um, he has Judgment for the trade agreements. So we can get three trade agreements from the beginning. Um, and he has Guerrilla Deployment. Uh, he also has Understanding. So he has Starting Rank 4 Recruits, which is really quite lovely. If we look at his other stats, he has a lot of commander stats in here and quite a lot of... Um, sentinel class uh, opportunities here too so he's quite he's quite a balanced guy after him we have Shu Shi the complacent administrator his uh, younger brother <clears throat> so Shu Shi we're going to give you a horse too uh, sorry Shu Yi we're going to give you a horse too uh, we have a stone pig which we'll use to make someone happier we don't otherwise need it as um, far as weapons and everything goes we've got nothing extra there that we can add <clears throat> I don't want to reduce his expertise. Now, he is going to be an administrator very quickly, but as you can see, he's not all that great, to be honest. Uh, but it, he has no independence, desires. Um, he's pretty smart. Um, he has some benefits to being an administrator, so we're going to make him an administrator. Um, what's important is that when he stats up, we can get him a chastity of steel, and he'll be a very good fighting sentinel too. Um, it's a shame that he's in our army. I don't like having my administrators in armies. Ideally, I think they're better used to defending your settlements, but hey. After that, we have Shu Xin, who is the uh, faction heir. Um, you can see he doesn't have the same uh, bonus stats as Shi or Shu Xie. Uh, he's only got uh, 15, but he does have increased satisfaction. He does have 10% speed, and he has scare, more importantly, and scare is so useful. He's loyal. He's intrepid and he's careless. There's a lot of carelessness within the Shu family. Next, we have Shu Hui, naively ambitious. So, <clears throat> Shu Hui, why is he naively ambitious? Because after Shu Xie's death, when Sun Chuan was ordering the Shu family out of Jiaozhe to move to other positions within Wu, Shu Hui refused, self appointed himself as administrator of Jiaozhe. Uh, his father's old position and led a rebellion that was put down hard by Liu Dai. So he's here, he's not overly happy, but he's fraternal, he's modest, he's sincere, so he's going to stay relatively happy and he will be a pretty good commander as we can see here. He has a decent uh, variety of options for him, he will be okay. After that we have Lady Shu who is our wife, <clears throat> she's coordinated, bright and intrepid, um, she'll be a very good administrator. Um, if we stat her up correctly. And then we have Jung Min. Now Jung Min's a little bit pissed off right now. I'm going to give him this for a turn just to keep him happy. Uh, he has night battles already. The most important thing about Jung Min is actually his real life story. He was the man who was required to send the tribute to the Han court. This is the guy who did it. Um, there must have been other people and I don't think he did it every single time. But he is the one who is in the records as having done it. Um... <clears throat> He unfortunately doesn't get anything extra to his stuff because it's Shi and Shisha only with this faction, which is fine. Um, he's ascetic, he's spiteful, um, and he's cunning. Spiteful gives him scare, which is really quite nice. He will be a very good battlefield strategist. Um, but there'll be a mission that kicks off very, very soon where we're required to give him a Lord's Tribute Chest, which is going to sort his satisfaction out. So don't worry about that too much when you start. And don't, don't go kicking him out. Lots of people kick their commander's uh, officers out to um, improve their bank balance. He's he's worth more than Lady Shu, to be honest, if you're going to think about kicking someone out. And you can't really kick out your wife. That's a bit mean. So keep them all. 
Now, we have to throw uh, Shi into be an administrator. You get 15% income from all sources, 30% <clears throat> uh, reduction in corruption, no desire higher office, improved armies, plus two splendor per turn, and minus 27 construction costs. So we're going to throw him straight into Zhaozhi, uh, if we don't mind, which is our capital province. It's going to make him happy. And what I'm also going to do is throw Shu Hui in here, but not... Uh, it's not ideal, let's be honest, putting him here. But we're doing this because we want the Splendor. <clears throat> um, because we want the Splendor so we can get our Tribute Chest, we can boost him very, very quickly. This has affected our bank balance, but we'll be able to solve that very, very quickly. Developing the South, Constructor Upgraded Building, we'll look at that in one second. But we can solve our problems through trade agreements. So here, Han Empire, trade agreement, negotiate. Why you? Why Definitely do this. Um, see if they've got any cool toys that we may want. Oh, I forgot we had one of those. These are all... I mean, they're magnificent, but they're all a tiny bit too much money for us. So we're not going to worry about that. Just going to request cash up front. It's not going to be a huge amount, but 81, that. We've got a trade deal. That has solved our bank balance issue. We also have his Dong Zhuo. He's 1.6. I wonder if it's worth doing because he will of course lose the ability to trade with us because he will have his own war going on vote cancel regulation yeah we'll do all that soon jowjia uh Jauger has you know food and all that stuff so probably want marketplace is nice because we do get the trade influence we have a lot of commerce coming in here but peasantry is a long-term thing too mm. <clears throat> food is nice Pop growth is certainly nice. We're going to get that, I think, for now. Um, our man here, we're going to uh, begin very, very quickly by shifting as fast as we can over in this direction. Ying Shao, uh, Zhou Huan, and Chu Pan surround us. And they are enemies. They are all hand faction enemies. They surround us. Now... If those of you who have seen my faction preview, I talk a little bit about them. I don't believe they really were in this area. The only uh, reference to people with these names I found were they were members of Wang Yun's clique uh, within the Han court. Um, so that's what I believe they were. I don't think they were ever down here. I think they were up in Luoyang and then Chang'an. <clears throat> but hey, are you sure we're going to throw you in just to get commerce uh, silk spice bonuses from Zhao Zhou just so it's a little bit of extra money? Um... And yeah, as you can see, because we've thrown two people in, this is going to go up uh, to uh, 67 next time, which means we can buy a tribute chest. And see, these are all the tribute chests. They have, they're all 65 each, and they're amazingly useful. This is very good for trade influence. This is uh, very good for diplomatic relations, income, um, <clears throat> like uh, industrial stuff, uh, which is more like replenishment in your armies. Lord's chest is satisfaction, character experience, and attribute bonuses. Uh, Commander's chest ready for battle, so you can use them in readiness for certain events. We're going to get an event uh, where we need to give this to Jung Min. So we're saving up for that, and that's why I'm not worried about Jung Min's um, satisfaction here. <clears throat> right. With all of that said and done, let's end the turn and move straight into it. Because we want to take out Ying Shao as fast as possible. We will actually get a mission to take Gaoliang and Ning, uh, <coughs> Yulin Bushan, and Yulin Tanjong. So if we take Ying Shao out here, that's his army. We'll be able to push into Tanjong and then finish him off at Guangyu because that's a uh, spice market. Very, very nice. And he joins the Confederated Yunnan tribes. Um, who do we have? <coughs> Nye Zhu, Miao Wan Wan, Gao Shu Zhen. Nye Zhu is not bad. You know, if you if you wanted to spend some money, you could definitely bring him in. You could do worse, but we don't need someone like that right now. So if we upgrade this, we are going to get a uh, benefit from our big man. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to get the Lord's Chest. Just acquire that, because that is going to be a thing we need to deal with soon what else were they going to do yes Jung Min um we are going to throw this on you here um miscontrolled missions developing the south overpopulation they're the only things we need to do construct or upgrade a building that should be done in a turn <clears throat> overpopulation will be dealt with battle time 
important stuff. Battle time. Let us take out uh, Ying Shao. So we're going to fight this. Uh, it's a decisive victory, but we may as well check out our new boys. Our army is pretty melee heavy. Um, Ying Shao doesn't really have much. Some cav, which we don't have. But uh, we'll be good. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> Let us uh, have a good look here. So, this settlement has a lot of towers. Let's come in over this flank. Um, we'll see if we can stretch them here and here. We don't have cavalry, which is not great. Uh, so we can't do any lightning maneuvers. We do have... Um, shove you over here with Shushin. Um, quite like you chaps to be here. You guys can shield wall up and be there just to take a beating. <clears throat> Axes behind. Uh, sabers here. You and you here. Start battle. Where are they? Where are they? Apparently they're not here. So, advance. See where they bloody are. Advance, guys. Go, 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 go. Take this ground. Take this ground. Right, they're all in the center. Fantastic. Go, 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 go. Advance. <clears throat> ride, ride, ride. Need to get there as fast as possible so we can hold this. Because we are getting shot to crap, even though we're in a shield wall. Uh, range block chance plus 35% is not helping us. We don't have any benefits from this guy as well. He is a fighter, not a defender. Um, speed, morale, whilst we're in that. But I need to rush there fast as possible. I don't care about these guys. They're moving slowly anyway. We're going to get here. Um, I don't think Yingsha looks like he's coming to, to, to fight us. Take this. Good man. Excellent. Right, you can shift here. Take that because that will prevent that shooting at us. You're taking that, which is magnificent. Right, you guys, then. I would like you positioned right about here. That's not good. <clears throat> that is just awful. Can you be there? And you be there. Right. We've got Cav coming, which sucks. Not gonna be particularly uh, diplomatic about that. All of our Cav killers are on the other side of town. Uh, you're gonna touch too far, my man. Just a touch. If you can go in there, that would be magnificent. Shishe, I'm gonna need you to rock up here. Yeah, just kill some of them. Just kill some of them. Um, <clears throat> our boy Shiyi will be able to hold against this cavalry unit. Um, now if they really want to fight, they can come for Shishe. Nah, they're not gonna. They're gonna come for you. All right, melee invasion. We'll wait for Shushia to get in this uh, mix, and then we'll pop. Three, two, one, boom, done. <clears throat> right, we've got a good fight going on there, which we will win. You boys, we need you to advance up this way. Uh, we are lacking. Um, yeah, my troops are on the wrong side, really. I mean, I guess. Infantry, infantry, here the militia. All right, militia, I need you to shift up here really quickly, form form ranks. <clears throat> We're beating them to death, but you are in a bit of a state. You boys are coming in as fast as you can, but it's going to take you a minute. Uh, Shri, out you come. Shushi, you too. Both of you. Let's fall back this way. Back to the troops. All right, you boys form here. <clears throat> we'll have to deal with this cavalry here. You and you, if you don't mind, just set up. Just set up. Um, and everybody else can march through. Right. You are not attacking that, disappointingly. Come on. Can you please destroy that barricade? I know you're on your own, but it would be lovely if you could destroy that barricade. Or at least try to. You know, make some sort of effort. Uh, back you come, my man. Back you come. <clears throat> Back you come. Okay. Sabre Militia 1 and 2. Uh, charge. And then Axe and Axe. I want you to come up here, please. We're going to start to pressure on them. You and you. You don't need to be in a shield wall anymore. And again, 
straight up, if you don't mind. Crossbow, crossbow. Um, yeah, good on you. Shoot everything and anything. You... Do you know what? Ride. Because our boys here are in trouble. Can we destroy this barricade? Just rush that barricade. Here's a fight. Here's a fight. Push through. Everybody push through. Axe and axe. Charge. Um, save militia. Save militia. In you go. Trisha yeah, and you. Let's see if we can gank him. You're shooting, which is magnificent. Bringing them down. You just need to avoid them. And we should be good. Get them in the rear. Come on, my man. You can do it. I know you're being shot by those towers, but you'll be fine. We will fight through here. We're going to drop some of this. Um, he's got nothing else he can add. Ying Xiao is not in the best of shape. You guys advance around this flank, please. A little bit too slow if we all push there together. If you advance there, we should be good. Um, we still got that running. He doesn't hit particularly hard, but he does hit a lot harder than my Sentinel. Uh, which is marginally annoying. Oh, you cockhead. What on earth are you playing at? Get out of there. <clears throat> oh, he didn't lose his horse, fortunately. I was very worried he was about to lose his horse. Um, can you try? Just try to destroy that barricade? Be magnificent if you could. Right, charge in here. Right, enemy unit is fleeing. Charge. You boys, shift here. That's fine. We are bringing him down. You axes. Sorry, axes. I'd like you to shift up too. Um, this is a proper settlement fight where we have been corralled into a small area. We can't use our forces as effectively. But we can still push forward. We can still push forward. You guys advance. Saber Infantry will have this. You chase him you get in there let's see if we can rip this mounted militia apart you advance up there just push straight through you guys are coming down here which is great you guys are advancing they've broken we're going to get into this mounted militia here um <clears throat> yeah keep chasing him off probably not going to be able to do it super effectively you guys can advance they've started to run these boys here advance you Get in here. Uh, take that off as well. Axes, up you go. Come on, smash, smash, smash. Oh, you're just not doing it. Lads, just come over here then. So one of you take this. 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 There. Done. Okay. You. Form. You. You. Form up two. You can come here. Uh, you know, just slam into them for a second. You, you as well. Up here, if you don't mind. Everybody up there. You don't need to be in that fight. But if you can hunt him down, that would be brilliant. He's got 11k. You've got 15. That could be a little bit close for comfort, to be honest. Charge. Wait for the axis to reform. How are we doing? He's just coming back here and he looks like he's about to run again, so that's not a big problem. You boys up here. Um, you, you, you as well. Up you come. Uh, straight down here because we need to make use of your abilities in this fight. Our G are not looking like they're going to be part of a fight, really. 9.2, 12. Go over there and help. <clears throat> Go over there and help. And we'll leave this to Shishin. He needs to uh, show why he's the heir. You bring your ass back here. Um, pop this. You boys, come down here, please. You boys, I don't want you to come down this way. Um, it looks like you're determined, so come down that way. Archers, form up here. Saber, do you know what? You can also come down here. It'll be fun. Charge, charge, charge. You have scare. Keep charging, keep charging, keep charging. 
Here comes the G. Hopefully we'll take this very, very quickly. Um, if we take that very, very quickly, it's all going to work in our favor. <clears throat> Good men. Taken. Brilliant. Uh, do you know what? Advance down here, please. Form up. We've got them trapped. We have them trapped. Keep charging. Keep charging. Both of you, keep charging. You boys. Yes, it's going to take you a minute, but you want to get there. So, charge, charge, charge. Uh, right, he's off. He's off for good. You can come back. We don't need to do that anymore. You come join the fight. So, it looks like you're uh, brave. Right. Excellent job. Let's keep throwing ourselves into this fight, if you don't mind. As soon as... Oh, you've lost your pony. That is a shame. But, smashy, smashy. Good hit. Cause more of them to flee. Stay in that fight. Keep rushing. Keep pushing. Keep killing. Saber infantry here. We've got the G. Now they're coming into the rear. Pile in. Pile in. You boys. Uh, where can we go? Here. Take it here. Just keep going. You guys are going straight for the middle of town. You guys are there too. They are all broken. Anybody left. It seems not. Someone must be left. Because this is not... There we go. There we go. Excellent. Decisive victory. Fantastic. I will take it. We lost a fair few people. My poor G. <laughs> Got absolutely slaughtered. Just advancing through archer fire. Um, but the shielded troops did slightly better. <coughs> Problem with this region is we don't have the population and everything else, so replenishment takes a while. But we've gained that. Oh, old oh, Ting Ping. Suspicious. Direct. Fraternal. Age 35. I will employ her because if we marry her off to one of my family members, we are going to get bonuses from having her around eventually. She's quite handy. I like that. That is... That is a benefit. Look at her. Oh, she's good. She's very good. <clears throat> now, family tree. Her. Marry. You marry her to... Tree, for example. There we go. She's now a family member. Cost us a bit of money. But were we to then... Uh, give her a position in the future possibly kick Shui out of his position and put someone talented in it you know we could get a lot of bonuses liking that anyway we've taken Yulin Bushan let's move on next turn um, I'm not playing with the trade agreements even though I've got two spare uh, there's no one I can trade with around here just for now unfortunately just Dong Zhuo and his one's not going to last very long and it's going to cost me money to get it I'm not going to see my money back uh, what I want is this trade port, because then I should be able to trade with Kong Rong, providing he has space. Developing the South, support for merchants. A lavish tribute. So, we need to give Jiang Min a Lord's Chest. That's why I bought it last time. As you nurture your lands, you must become more flexible in how you would <clears throat> use their resources. Lesser leaders would stockpile riches. But nothing more than ego. But you can use this wealth to give tribute, inspiring loyalty and efficiency in your people, and nurturing diplomatic relationships. We will definitely do just that. Character developments, all oh, ting ting, mission success, mission issued, uh, Jung Min, here, accessories, and done. Brilliant. Right, expanding control. Yes, we need to take Galang and Ning, Yulin Bushan, and Yujin Changjong, and we'll get 4,000. Which will work very nicely for us. Strengthening the land. We've nurtured these lands for years, steadily growing them into a formidable power base. However, further to the north, China is in chaos must therefore continue to build prestige, establishing deeper roots. That everything you have worked for is not blown away by strong winds and tumultuous times. Reach the faction rank of Duke. Excellent. Well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're just going to move to the border here and recruit... Eh, no one for now. We'll save the money. <clears throat> but we'll go there and we'll take Yulin Tanjong uh, in the next turn. But that has to wait for the next episode. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe down below. Comments and advice, anything else are always welcome as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.